Hey, this is Greg, and this is another Wild Edible and Herbal Plants video. Today we're going to be talking about Carolina Buckthorn. But before we do that, we got to do the disclaimers, actually both disclaimers, because we are going to be talking about some medicinal uses. A lot of things out there good to eat, good for you, and some of them taste great. A lot of others, they don't. Some can make you very sick and some can even kill you. So if you're not completely certain what a plan is, don't eat it until after you've consulted with a local expert. Since we're gonna be talking about some medicinal uses, you know I gotta do the additional. I am not a doctor nor a master herbalist. I do not diagnose nor treat any illness. If you're suffering from something, don't start a course of treatment until after you've consulted with a doctor or a master herbalist. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Cal uh, Carolina Buckthorn. Carolina Buckthorn's Latin name is Remnus Carol Carol Carolina Anna. Yeah, we'll call it Remnus Carolina Carolina Anna. Now it is a native tree or shrub or yeah, a small tree, large shrub in the United States and I'm gonna put the map right here all right now that we got that out of the way this one here isn't even six foot tall and it's right in the edge of the woods at my mom's place you'll notice the leaves are very glossy uh, I don't know about three and a half four inches long well four nearly five I guess inches long center vein down the center branching off and then branching off into smaller pieces as I said it is a native plant to the United States and you can look at the map it produces these berries here which let me make sure you can see that you can let me move in a little closer got me a new tripod maybe the cat won't mess with it as much but I am actually at my mom's today so it won't be as bad the berries are edible both raw and cooked not a lot of flavor but it's got a little bit of carbohydrates a little bit of fat micronutrients a touch of calcium and uh, I'm gonna show you that in a second and in the process of doing this, I've stirred up a few uh, deer flies, but that'll be all right. They don't, well, they do bite pretty hard, but maybe they won't bite me. Now, they start off, the berries start off red. And then when they turn a deep purpley to a black, that's when they're ripe. Now, they do have a, a really dark pit in the center that one wasn't quite right but that's all right um they're not like some of the other berries they don't stain you up real bad as they get older they can stain a little bit but not not a whole lot um but i mean they are edible raw and cooked some people have used them as a portion in jellies um i don't think you'd really want them to be the primary ingredient in your jelly but you know you can add it to it now the bark of this tree was dried and made into a tea which turns into a very strong laxative now quote i said very strong laxative okay uh primarily the eastern united states uh actually most of the eastern united states and uh it's just a good one to know and it's a pretty tree and uh, uh wildlife really love it too birds will get after it pretty hard all right well, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this was number 45. Step by step, we're bringing the rule back. Have a great day. Bye-bye.